Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Primal Hunt Overview. So we've played around with dinosaurs already in the Jurassic World Aftermath, now it seems like it's time for a revenge. This is pretty much perfectly up my alley, action adventure game with archery skills like what can I ask for more, fingers crossed it's actually gonna be good. So Primal Hunt seems to be an actual hunting game where we're gonna have to face off with a bunch of dinos that live peacefully and we're destroying them using deadly survival arsenal to kill everything that's moving there and get the title of the greatest hunter. I guess this is sort of a more accurate and cartoony take on the monster hunter. It very much seems to be placing all hopes in the action and combat with the dinosaurs, like there does not seem to be a moment where you get to breathe and chill out because everything is just out there to kill you. While the concept seems great at first, I'm not totally sure like what's the whole goal of the game, because it seems on a more arcadey side of things, they specify with more progression the dinosaurs get better with like cybernetic attachments and just <laughs> crazy weapons, but if that's the actual point of the project, I'm not sure if it's just gonna be interesting to play. Regardless, like the whole interactions and just their behavior seems so cool and very appropriate for the quest platform, like if there's gonna be something more besides the actual fighting, we'll have to see. It seems very fun regardless, and I think we'll enjoy this one. Let's go hunting! Welcome value patron and thank you for your purchase of our highest tier hunting experience. You are currently suspended in one of our bio chamber catalyst tubes. Your cyber suit model is a state of the art biomechanical vessel designed to provide the most realistic and exciting hunting experience while staying safe within our containment units. Your cyber suit is syncing your sensory and neural connections with cloned organs to match your bio signature and prepare your consciousness transfer. Hunter's physical and augmented cognition pairing in progress, establishing sensory connection, syncing nervous system response, brain wave signature acquired, hunter consciousness integration, connecting, phantom bridge complete. Thank you again and enjoy your hunt. <laughs> I mean, okay. Welcome to your hunting lodge. Here you'll come to receive your hunting permits, customize your gear, take practice in the shooting range, or simply bask in the glory of your previous hunts in your trophy room. Okay, let's get started. Move over to that console in front of you. That's such an interesting concept, like your... Oh, it's essentially a Spire one. <laughs> this is your lodge console. All the information for your hunts, weapons, and the biomes is stored here. My name is Sir Philip Lambert. I'm the game warden for these biomes and your personal hunting guide. Let's get you acquainted with the Lodge console's interface. Before you start your campaign, we require all new hunters to undergo a training session in our proving ground, found in the arid portion of the campaign menu. This is your hunting permit screen. Here you'll select from available hunts in the different biomes and regions. Select the proving ground to start your training. I see, so it's kind of like a designated area to fight them. It's not necessarily open world, but it's like instanced open world, which is fine as well. Read through the hunting guidelines and review the loadout that I have laid out for you. To review your gear, click the edit loadout button on the far right. Aha, uh -huh. so we're after something specific, but I'm assuming there's going to be other stuff as well wandering around. This screen is where you can review your current gear, loadout, and armor set. For future hunts, you'll be able to customize your armor and gear. But for now, your loadout is locked with the basics to prepare you for the tutorial. Once you're ready, click the Go to Hunt button on the screen to activate the teleporter behind you. Okay. Very interesting so far. The teleporter is your main way in and out of the biomes. Push activate to teleport to the proving grounds. Welcome to the hunter's proving ground. Here I will provide you with basic training that you'll need before starting your campaign. Hunter's podiums are located throughout this area with training information on everything you need for a successful hunt. To get started, move to that first podium with the floating icon over it. Your HUD system shows needed information at a quick glance. At the very top of the HUD are your compass, health and stamina bars. On the left and right are your visual and audio meters, as well as your aero inventory.
You are equipped with a state-of-the-art tech bow and an arsenal of arrows. To activate or deactivate your bow, simply push the Y button. For some target practice, click close on the screen to launch a group of target drones. Destroy all the drones and move to the next podium. Wait. <laughs> Where do I activate it? Let's test out your Artemis' shield. Hold down your gauntlet trigger to activate your shield. The shield will block both projectiles and small melee attacks. You can also swing your shield to perform a shield bash. Your shield will reduce in size as it loses health, but will also recharge over time. Click close to launch the attack drone. Block its lasers and destroy the drone. Oh, so there was a target practice. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> okay, you know. I mean, do I need to review everything here? Everything's like... Something that you should know already <laughs> playing VR. <laughs> Your arrow inventory includes an infinite amount of grapple arrows that allow you to move along the challenging areas with grapple points. Thanks. With your grapple arrow, you can also perform a grapple hang from your grapple points. To grapple hang, hold the grip button when firing your grapple arrow. Keep an eye on your stamina bar. Practice a grapple hang with that existent grapple point. Wait. <laughs> That's what I get for not reading. With your grapple arrow, you can also perform a grapple hang from your grapple points. To grapple hang, hold the grip button when firing your grapple arrow. Keep an eye on your stamina bar. Okay, I got it. Practice a grapple hang with that distant grapple point. So I have no health. Your gauntlet is equipped with the Artemis system, one of the best tools a hunter can have. The Artemis will supply needed information on your hunt, help you track your quarry, as well as scanning for clues. To activate your Artemis, hold your hand to your helmet and tap the trigger. Nearby hunting clues are now marked in the world. There's a lot of tutorials to go through. Hunting clues provide essential information on your quarry. The more clues you find will make tracking your quarry that much easier. Scan the local clue by holding your hand to the clue and holding the trigger. Them. Your Artemis system has updated your map with a new clue radius. Use your map and move to your next clue. The map on your gauntlet gives you your current location, clue radius, target quarries, waypoints, and other useful tracking information. You can set a waypoint by simply clicking anywhere on the map, this will also set an icon in your HUD's compass. Scan the nearby clue to keep tracking your quarry. Apparently the work health packs. <laughs> Whatever. Hmm. 
Ganymine sauce. Heard burn berries are part of the Ganymimus diet. Use your Artemis to find your next clue. Fresh Ganymimus excrement. Traces of herd fern berries found. Your map has been updated with a new search radius. I see, so it's like that. I thought I turned off the vignette. <laughs> Formation matches that of an adult Apparently he will be there. I need help though. <laughs> Your hunter's echo reveals the current alert level of the dinosaurs. White means Yeah 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 yeah. Uh-uh. I'm not being very sneaky. <laughs> I don't necessarily like that the world is that empty, but it's pretty big. Like, huge. Stealth is your best friend when tracking and hunting down your quarry. With your Artemis open, stealth areas are displayed within your HUD. To go into stealth mode, enter a stealth area and crouch. To crouch, click the right thumbstick. A stealth icon will appear if you are six. This is like a lot of instructions. Can't I just shoot it? <laughs> My God. <laughs> nice shot. For every dinosaur you bring down, you'll earn Hunter's Essence. Those orbs will be valuable when you get back to your lodge. Cut. Ew. <laughs> okay. And there's a teleporter. I think I got it so far, like, the whole video will be just tutorial if I would spend actual time on it, but... I think we'll be good. Welcome back, Hunter. Make your way to the Lodge console to turn in your Hunter's Permit. You have gained Essence Points from your hunt. Click on the Skill Tree to go to your Hunter's Skill Tree and spend your newly acquired points. Congratulations on a successful hunt. Your Permit is accepted and you've earned a Head Mount as well as unlocked a new item for your arsenal. 
you have also unlocked a trophy room and shooting range, located on either side of your lodge console. You have gained essence points from your hunt. Click on the skill tree to go to your hunter <laughs> skill tree and spend your newly acquired points. This is your hunter skill tree. Throughout your hunts, you'll be collecting animal essence, which can be used to unlock skills and upgrades. When you're ready, click the back button to continue your hunter's journey. I'm all about the attack, baby. Wait. Do I need to complete... Come we go. Congratulations. You have unlocked a new hunter's permit, taking you to the Trihorn Plains. <laughs> I thought it's literally just action, action, action. There's a lot of explaining. <laughs> Welcome to the Trihorn Plains, the breeding ground of one of our most majestic dinosaurs, the Triceratops. These creatures can get up to 10 feet tall and weigh over 12 metric tons, but your hunting permit is for something more adequate to your skill level. Make sure to stick to your permit and avoid any dinosaur that is out of your league. You can always check your permit and progress by opening the data button on your phone. <laughs> Oh, a band creature. Um, I think if I'll get down now, he'll just kill me. <laughs> That's okay. So we're hunting something here. I need to cross there. <laughs> Damn it. Uh -huh. Oh shit! <laughs> asshole. Well, technically, I'm the asshole here. <laughs> oh, my God, no. <laughs> He's coming. Damn it, and it's time to finish. <laughs> I essentially need to ease myself into the gameplay and relax. And I guess do my thing, like. Because there's just a lot of stuff going on with the tracking and just hunting. I actually thought it's just constantly just fighting, you know? But then it's like you're searching for clues and stuff. And you need to be stealthy. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Mate, get off me! <laughs> Ow! Holy! Wait, I'm a robot. Why do I have blood on me? <laughs> but anyhow, there's a lot of going on in the beginning so i need to like ease myself in maybe we'll come back to it because it's very like unique i guess to me it can be very dynamic if you actually get to know the gameplay more and just excel because <laughs> i see the potential we'll just have to see how i'll manage here but i do like the whole hunting aspect of it and it's not stupid like you need to watch out for other animals to not kill you and 
Not piss them off.